All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. I've been out to the radio shack this morning and pulled together all of the CB radios that I've got knocking around still. Since starting the channel, I've bought and sold literally hundreds of CB radios on eBay, and this group of rigs are either ones I plan on keeping on or never got around to selling. There's a relatively good selection of different radios in different sizes, most are straight 40s and there's a couple of sideband radios. In the days when I was selling radios I would have had up to 20 or more radios in the shack but these are all that remain. There are review videos of all of them on this channel which I'll put links up for but the plan now is to get rid of most of them to get some cash together to buy more rigs to review now that the weather is warming up and it's safe to start working out of the currently frigid Radio Shack again. A few of these radios are featured in a number of videos and today I need to choose which ones I think I should keep for my own use and which ones can go. There are a couple here that I don't think I can part with but in order to buy more radios I'll need to get some funds together. So let's take a look at what we've got here on the table. So first up it's the Ham International. I've had a few of these over the years and they do tend to go for a good price. This one is in a bit of a sorry state but is in full working order and is still very serviceable even though cosmetically it's definitely seen better days. It's got all the modes on it you need including CW and should work well for whoever buys it from me. This Colt Black Shadow has a bit of a strange story behind it as I got it from a bloke in France. This one has only AM and sideband and it worked quite well for me when I used it. I've had a few different Colt rigs including the AM Colt 210 and the Colt 295 we'll take a look at in a minute. Now this Midland Porter pack is a tough one to decide if I should sell or keep just because it's a Porter pack. These are great little rigs and as you might already realise it's an ideal portable rig and features on many DX videos on YouTube. I've had it, put... I've had it out on one DX trip and it did well enough for me. It's just that I have another rig that I think works great as a minimalist portable setup. So I'm torn between which one to keep. But the Porter Pack is a pretty iconic rig and they always go for good money. I mentioned the Colt 295 earlier when we looked at the Black Shadow and this one has to be one of my favorite CB radios ever. It's got that classic 80s CB radio look and I love the chrome finish on it. It's not a heavily featured rig but as I've done a lot of DX trips with this little beauty and you'll see it often in my videos and I've grown very attached to it because I've had some of my best signal reports from it. For a basic little rig it has one of the best receives I've ever had when out and about. I'm not sure I'd be able to get rid of it. I will be looking for a new van later in the year and I'm going to need a rig to stay in it full time so this could well be a contender. You do see these quite a bit on eBay and they never go for a lot of money so it wouldn't be too difficult to replace so it might be time to say goodbye to it. There is another rig I could use in the van but this is definitely better looking and I think has a better receive so I really can't make my mind up on this one. Next up is the Kerno Beta 1100 which I've had sitting on a shelf for years a decent little rig and I always intended to have this in my car full time but I've swapped out so many rigs over the years it's never been permanently inst installed. It's a great size and does what you need it to do. They're really cheap nowadays and are really easy to find so I won't gain much by selling it but it's really easy to pop in and out of a car when I need it. 
It's also been useful when I've given it to mates to use when we've been driving out on road trips. I've got a couple of smaller aerials, so just plug this into your cigarette lighter, pop the mag mount on your roof, and you're all set up to talk between cars when hurtling up the motorway with me in another vehicle. Now this is another rig I've had good results with out on DX trips. I like it because of the size of it, and for a handheld, it has a lot of good features, including the signal meter, scan mode, and now that I've got it set up with an external mic and an adapter to take a PL295, I've worked this off of my T2LT really well. These two go for a decent whack, but it's getting harder to come across this particular model nowadays, so I'm not sure if I should sell this or the Porter Pack, but I really should keep one of them for the more remote DX trips that would require every weight saving tactic I can use when clambering up steep hills at my age. This is another handheld that's very similar, except it has an LCD display with not so many features. I bought an external mic for this, but it doesn't do as well as the other one. I don't need two handhelds, so I'll be letting this one go. For a lot of people, this rig will be instantly recognisable, and this has been my main rig at home for the last couple of years, and I definitely won't be looking to get rid of it, unless I get hold of something better in the future. I will always need a sideband radio, and I got this a few years back for an absolute steal, and I want to be using this in my van when I start getting out more in the summer. Most likely this will stay in the van, rather than slinging it in a rucksack, but for the money, I really can't fault this one. I might make another video one day about my home base set up in the shack, but in the last year or so, I've seen the noise level at home go up by at least two points, and it's been harder to get decent signals in from home. I might be doing some more work with my home base aerial to see if I can do anything about it, but basically my next door neighbour had an extension last year and they've moved their washing machine around and stuff right next to where my shack is and they've upgraded their broadband with a new bigger router to cope with the extension and I'm sure that's got something to do with it. So plans are to shift a few of these and pick up a new rig to review for the channel. There are over a hundred review videos on this channel and in the past these have been the older 80s rigs mainly so I'd like to get hold of a brand new up to date rig to review and we'll see what we can do this year to get a few new rigs for the channel. If you're not already a subscriber then please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next YouTube video.